Hi, welcome back to our virtual cooking demo sponsored by Nature's Food Patch in downtown Clearwater. Today we are going to make a Kung Pao lettuce wrap with a fresh peach chutney. So the recipe is always below the video, so check the recipe. Um, all the ingredients that we're using today are available at Nature's Food Patch. So we're going to start with the peach chutney. We're going to make that first. So on the recipe, there is date paste. So let's talk about how to make your own date paste. I have some pitted majule dates that I've soaked in boiling water and I'm going to put them in my little personal blender and we're gonna make some date paste. Now, this is great as a sweetener. This is the date paste finished, and you can store this in the refrigerator or even in the freezer because it will not freeze totally. So for our peach chutney, we are going to add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar along with our date paste, a half a cup of the date paste. This will be our sweetener. And we're gonna bring this to a boil to help dissolve some of the sugar in the date paste. And once this comes to a boil, then we're going to reduce the heat to a simmer and we're gonna add our next ingredients, which we have some chopped onion, some minced garlic, some minced ginger root, some chopped jalapeno pepper. And I added this for a little bit of kick to the peach chutney. If you're not a fan of spice, just leave it out. If you're a fan of spice, you can add a serrano or a different kind of pepper. And then we've got a third a cup of organic yellow raisins. And the reason I use organic raisins is because there's this great list available in Nature's Food Patch in the produce aisle. And this is a listing of the Dirty Dozen, which is the 12 produce items that are identified every year that contain the most pesticides. So grapes is on that list, hence raisins on the list. Then we've got a little bit of kosher salt. So all of these are going to go in my pan. The onion, the garlic, the fresh ginger root, our jalapeno pepper, our raisins, and our kosher salt. So we are going to let this simmer for 10 minutes. And after that, then we're going to add one and a half cups of organic fresh peaches. Again, the peaches are on the dirty dozen list, so I've got organic. So come back when our chutney's done and we'll put this beautiful dish together. Okay, so we've finished our peach chutney and it is cooling in the refrigerator. I've cleaned my pan, so now we're going to fix the stuffing for the lettuce wraps. So I've got one cup of organic red bell pepper. And to that, I'm going to add some organic celery, again on the dirty dozen list, so please buy organic if possible. And I've got a little bit of water here. You could also use vegetable broth. I'm going to make sure my vegetables are not sticking to the bottom of my pan. If they start sticking, then I will add a little bit of the water and or vegetable broth. So we'll let that saute a little bit. Then to that, I'm going to add the Kung Pao sauce, which is coconut aminos. You could also use low sodium soy sauce or tamari date paste, then we have a little bit of rice vinegar, some cornstarch, and some garlic powder. 
So we're going to mix that all together. The cornstarch will thicken it up a little bit. Remember whenever you're using cornstarch or a thickener, you have to add it to the liquid that is cold or room temperature. You cannot add it to a hot liquid. It will do nothing but get lumpy. Okay, so my vegetables are sauteing nicely. I did not have to add any water. So to that I'm going to add my sauce into my pan. And with the cornstarch that will thicken up a little bit with the heat. And then I'm going to add one can of organic low sodium garbanzo beans available in the bean aisle at Nature's Food Patch. And you could leave them whole if you wanted to, but I like to smash them a little bit. I didn't smash them all because I wanted a different texture and I simply used my potato masher to mash the chickpeas. So these are going to go in my pan. This is going to be part of our filling for the lettuce wraps. And then I'm going to cook this for three to five minutes and just warm everything up. And then we're going to plate our lettuce wraps. We'll be filling the lettuce wraps with this filling and then we'll be garnishing. Okay, our filling has cooked for the six to ten minutes. I've got my lettuce wraps nice little red and green lettuce cups. You could also use romaine lettuce. You could also put this in a pita. So we are going to put some of our filling in our lettuce cups. You can see the beautiful color in this filling. We try and eat from the rainbow. So this has got a lot of protein and vitamins and nutrients. So we've got our filling. Now we're going to add our beautiful peach chutney, which has cooled a little bit in the refrigerator and it's nice and thick. So we're going to put a little dab of that on top of our filling. And then we've got some optional garnishes. We've got some crushed peanuts. We're going to add a few crushed peanuts and some fresh cilantro. And some sriracha, optional. We like a little bit of spice, so we're going to put just a little dab of sriracha on there. And then let's taste test. Very good, so good. Again, everything we use today is available at Nature's Food Patch in downtown Clearwater. The store is open daily. If you do not feel comfortable coming to the store to shop, please click on the link on their website for Instacart and either do a no contact delivery or curbside pickup. Um, one thing I didn't talk about while I was cooking was my scraps. These are my scraps from the vegetables that we use today. So I'm not throwing these away. These are going in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. And once a week, I will take that Ziploc bag out and I will make my own vegetable broth. So if you have an Instapot, I put the contents of the Ziploc bag in my Instapot. I fill it with water, add a bay leaf, some peppercorns, and five minutes under pressure, I have my own low sodium vegetable broth. If you don't have an instant pot, you can fix it on top of the stove in a regular pan. I would cook it for an hour. And then as if in the instant pot, I just turn it off and I just let it sit there for several hours for the flavors to infuse. So I hope you've enjoyed our demo. We'll see you next month for another virtual demo. Stay safe and be well.